Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about the app Zoom. Zoom is a webcasting app that will allow you to have online video meetings with parents, other teachers or even students as part of a remote learning model. In these times we're going to have to find ways where we can communicate effectively at home. So let's take a look at Zoom. So when you open up the Zoom app, this is the screen that you are going to see. I'm going to show you first how you would use Zoom as a user. So as a user of Zoom, when you open the app, this is the screen that you're going to see. Now, if you're using a computer, you would go to zoom.us slash join and you can join in the same way. So all you need to do as a user is click join meeting. Then you're given a meeting ID. Now your meeting organizer will have given you that ID. So this is where you would put it in. But before we put that in, let me just talk to you about a couple of these settings. Join options. Don't connect to audio or turn off my video. So with these unchecked in the way they are now, as soon as you join, your video and audio will be on. If you don't want that to happen straight away, then turn these off. Now your audio and video will be off when you join the meeting and then you can turn them on within the meeting. So let's go ahead and put that meeting code in. There's my meeting code and then I can click join. If your organizer has set a password, this is where you would put the password in and then you click continue. So this is the screen of Zoom. So at the moment, there are two people in this call. There's the organizer, which is the screen that you're seeing here. And in the bottom right is my own screen. And you can see the video is actually off there. Now I can turn my camera on by tapping on the screen and then pressing start video. And that's going to turn on my camera as you can see in the corner here. So let's talk around the screen now. So what we can do is we can play with this thumbnail at the bottom. So if I press that minus button, that reduces my thumbnail into the corner. If I tap on that little camera and then press the plus, I can see all the camera thumbnails. So I can toggle between each of these different views by tapping on these buttons here. If I tap on my screen, I get these options in the corner, switch gallery view. So if I tap on that, what I can then see is all the different cameras and all the different people in my meeting. And as you can tell, I've only got two at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join with a third camera, a third person coming into my meeting. So there you go. There's my third person that's come into my meeting now. Now, as you can see, I've got the Golden Gate Bridge over in the corner behind me and the new camera that's come in is, a, is an image of space. That's because Zoom offers a wonderful feature that allows you to change the background. So if you're in a situation like me where I'm in my garage and my background isn't the best thing to see, I can switch the background to make it look a little bit more pleasing for the viewer. Now let's have a look at some of the other features we've got. So if I tap on the screen now, now I've got this option now to look at the participants. So I can tap on participants in the corner. I can see everybody that's participating in my meeting. I can also tap on chat. And then I've got a chat window here where I can send chat messages to everybody in my meeting. If I tap on the three dots in the corner, I've got this option to give a thumbs up and a clap. And then I can add chat here as well. I can look at my meeting settings. And this is where you would choose your virtual background. So I'm going to tap on virtual background. And here you've got your virtual background. So I can add any of these different virtual backgrounds. I can add more if I want to. I can add this one, this one. Or well, this one, they're the three that I've got downloaded. Or you can tap on the plus, then you can find an image within your own camera roll. The last option in the three dots is to raise your hand. So that allows you to actually make the organizer aware that you want to say something. The final thing I'd like to show you is the share content. So we can tap on share content and then I can share any of these options. So if I wanted to share my whiteboard, here's my whiteboard and then I can actually draw on my whiteboard so everybody in the room can actually see. So I've got then whiteboard features at the bottom here. 
so I can change things around. So I can have a whiteboard and I can use my whiteboard interactively to display something that I want to show to the participants of the meeting. To close the whiteboard, you tap that arrow at the top and then stop share. So finally, the last thing that you need to do is leave the meeting. So if you tap on the screen and then you can click on leave meeting and then tap leave meeting and then you can there to join another meeting. In the second video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can start a meeting as an organizer. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.